Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna 572 XP chainsaw. The customer complaint is that it won't start. Looks like it must be my first repair of the day because I'm grabbing tools out of the box and they're not already laying on the bench. So looking in the fuel tank, everything smells good. There's a good clean filter on there. Didn't see any water floating at the bottom. Let's try and start it. So it's a little bit off. It just sounded a little weird. Not normal. Uh, I already know what the problem is. We see that the uh, spark arrestor screen is plugged up with something. Not completely blocked off, but there's something in there. Do you know what the problem is? So I have to dig into this a little bit. And this could be a warranty claim. I'll have to look at everything, document things, and then submit my findings to Husqvarna. And they'll determine what might happen, whether it's uh, a warranty claim or not. But let's just keep going here and I'll show you what we got going on. So, it, again, it sounds a little bit weird when I'm pulling it over. And... Like I said, I already know what the problem is, but I like to just kind of store that information in the back of my head so that maybe when I hear that sound again, I can associate it with this problem. So I'm checking the bearing on the flywheel side right now. It doesn't feel like the bearing's out. But you never really know until you look at it. And I should say at this point that that stuff that I saw in the spark arrestor screen, that was plastic from a bearing. That was the cage from a bearing. And it can only be one of the two crank bearings. And I'm just trying to figure out which one it is before I pull it apart. And eventually this saw is going to come all the way apart, so I'm going to get the fuel out of here. The other thing I'm doing is collecting a sample of fuel. Sometimes I'm asked what the fuel condition was and if there's any water in it. So I tap out a sample and, and save it. The nice thing about this funnel is right now, if there's any water in that fuel, it's running to the bottom of the funnel. So when I tap a little sample into this baby jar, any water that might be in there is going to go into the, the collection jar. The color of the fuel looks really good. No dirt floating around in it. You know, uh, Crank bearing damage is usually associated with dirt ingestion, not fuel quality, unless there's no oil in the fuel. And the air filter and intake both looked really good on this one. So let's get this clutch and drum off of here and take a look at this side and see if we can feel any play in the bearing. Trying to keep it as clean as I can. I mean, at this point, things feel normal. And you would think that uh, if a bearing cage was broken and 
found its way all the way to the spark arrestor screen that the balls in the bearing would be all jacked up enough that you'd feel play. Uh, that's really not always the case. So here I'm trying to bump the clutch off of here, but with no spark plug in the cylinder, there's no compression for that impact to work against. See, as soon as I put my thumb over the spark plug hole, it buzzed it off of there. We got our clutch off, we got our worm gear off. And I'm taking a look at the crank seal right now. And it's on there. It just doesn't look perfect, but it's on there. I'm going to take the oil pump off and get a closer look. So there's just two screws holding this pump on. But it's stuck on there pretty good. So it looks like our seal is intact in place. That little piece that fell out of there, that's just a plug that goes in the end of the oil pump. So taking a closer look at this side, you know, I, I don't think this is the problem on this side. I feel just the slightest amount of play, but I'm thinking that it's on the flywheel side. So we're going to take that flywheel off and get a closer look on this side. This is pretty simple method for popping a flywheel. Put a little pressure behind it. Run the nut flush with the end of the crank and just give it a couple whacks. You got to make sure you hit that nut square otherwise you're going to wreck some threads. So I can see the problem right away. Maybe on the video you can't. But we'll uh, we'll take a closer look at that. Do you see how the the spring for the seal is hanging out and the seal's not flush? When that cage broke up, it pushed the seal out of its place. And I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit before I expose that bearing. Because while the bearing might be shot, I just don't want any dirt to get inside the engine. So that's all I'm going to have for you on the Husky 572 XP that ate a crank bearing. Thanks for watching. Later.